Now, listen, you guys, underwhelmed is an understatement, okay? Because what in the same song is this? And I'm very disappointed. I'm disappointed, um, you know, in Nicki Minaj for giving this girl some sort of cloud last time that she dropped. Because what is this? <laughs> and tell me why also it does seem like she's taking shots at, um, you know, at the Transformer. Her friend. Yeah, Bongo One. We're also going to be talking about Iron Spice and Give Me the Light. And we're also going to be talking about Charlemagne the God. Now, these are some of the things that we will be discussing in this video. Hello, tea lovers, and welcome to the tea plug. I trust you guys are doing well, and I trust you are doing great. Personally, I am doing great, you guys. I am doing extremely amazing. And uh, without further ado, let us dive straight into today's tea. So first of all, we are going to talk about this entire situation, obviously, with Bongo 2 dropping, okay? So first of all, let me just give you a summary of what I think about the song holistically, okay? So first of all, we're going to talk about, um, you know, the flow. The flow was the same, if we are going to be honest. Um, and that's very expected coming from her, the instrumental it was not anything out of this world. It's, it almost did feel like it's the same beat that she's always writing on. And we're also going to be talking about, um, you know, the lyrical content. At this point, this I'm going to touch, you know, in detail because I'm just confused. I'm like, who is this song about? What is this song about? Because it's all over the place. Oh, my God. And in as far as the video is concerned, I will objectively speaking, I will say that, well, um, you know, the video really was OK. It really was OK. And you can tell that the budget is a little bit better. But here's the thing. To me, it does seem like this Ara Nation is actually taking the same, um, you know, formula that, um, you know, Pacific tried to use with the Transformer. And at this point, I'm just like, what are you expecting to achieve with this? OK, if this is what you're putting out as competition to Nicki Minaj, then <laughs> what did we say about this the last time? We say it is the slow word, okay? Anyway, uh, moving on to the lyrics, you guys. This is where it gets even more disappointing because you do know that as expected. People were like, is she finally going to, you know, respond to Bigfoot? Is she going to address that? It does seem like she has decided to go off tangent. Literally, the topic is going that way and Bongo 2 decided to go the other way. Like, literally opposite. <laughs> And at this point, I'm confused. Is she talking about Kelsey? Is she talking about the Transformer? Is she trying to talk about Nicki Minaj? Is she talking about Ice? Like, who are you talking about? Who are you talking about at this point? Now, this is what this girl had to say in the song. Um, she said, B is bitter. Uh, they thought it was sweet. <laughs> I guess that's an attempt to play at bitter sweet. <laughs> All of a sudden, they're vegan. Uh, they don't want beef. Talking out of veneers. I'm knocking out teeth. <laughs> at this point, honestly, at this point, I'm just like, girl, what is this? And I'm very also disappointed in myself because you guys know that I've always said that, well, Bongo 2 does rip, um, you know, a lot better than the Transformer. She can actually rip. I, I, that's what I thought. But now after this, I'm just like, no, man. At this point, even JT can come out and clear you. Just because you're, you know, speaking fast on a beat does not mean that you're a good dripper. Because what in the behind is this? Oh, my goodness. And um, she also said um, they bought they bought Birkins. I bought stock. And this is the part when people were like, okay, are you talking about the Transformer? Okay. Because she's the one who's obsessed with those bigs, okay? Nicki Minaj does not obsess over Birkins, okay? And so, yeah, obviously people are like, who are you talking about? And talking about veneers, we all know who does have veneers that stick out of their mouths like that, that are very gigantic. <laughs> And she so said, uh, she also said they're taking shots. I'm taking sports. I see the shade. Then they get blocked. I'm just like, oh my goodness. I, I, at this point. <sighs> and then she also said, bees is messy, but I'm petty. Don't gotta edit. Check the Getty. I keep it real. I keep it, um, you know, the S word. And obviously we do know who the queen of editing Getty images is. <laughs> they literally take a picture from Getty and then they edit it. Obviously, that's the transformer. So if this is coincidence, you guys, this is too much coincidence that this girl is saying this to the transformer, honestly. Okay. On, I really do think that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. 
And then this is where it gets interesting. She also goes ahead to say, um, doing ish for TikTok, B, I'm really hip hop. They all do my ish hot and listen when your ish drop, okay? All my diamonds dancing, I need to make, uh, you know, no TikTok. B, your time is up, okay? So now let us talk about this entire thing. Who is she talking about? Who is well known for making things for TikTok if it's not the Transformer? And as far as anyone who is in a proximity is concerned, okay? So I do look at this and I'm like, none of this really relates to Nikki. I do guess that, well, she didn't need the smoke. Um, and she also goes ahead to say that your time is up. She can't be saying your time is up when Nikki Minaj is out there on a sold out, um, you know, world tour. Like it does not make any sense. None of this really does apply to Nikki Minaj. And if this was her attempting to come at Nikki Minaj, well, majority of the things that she's saying is not making any sense. And you can clearly tell how that relates to her so-called internet, um, you know, industry bestie or sister and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm just like, mm -mm, man, I, I, I don't know. Something is definitely going on in their camp. And if you do remember, I did a video about that saying that something is really not, um, you know, is not adding up. So let's see what the Transformer might say in her next video. And let's see if she will be able to clock this. But then her being slow, she might not even be able to catch up on this. She might really be thinking uh, both. Or two is singing about um you know Nicki Minaj's time being up when Nicki Minaj is, a, is on a sold out tour at this point it does seem like probably Bongo 2 just realized and the team they realized that they can't exactly go against Nicki Minaj and now they are trying to you know take the sport of being the main girl against Nicki Minaj which used to be the Transformers uh, sport so maybe <laughs> that's what she's talking about because at this point none of this makes any sense okay imagine wasting uh you know such a huge amount of money on the budget of this video only for her to come up with mediocrity like this like what is this even what is this even <laughs> Oh my goodness. And uh, she also said that none of these rap girls want any beef with me. And I'm like, you're the one who's ducking from the smoke. So who is you talking about, boo? Like, <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if she does release another song. And this time she's directly taking shots at Nicki Minaj. Because I do believe that with this, they were also trying to experiment to see that without attaching directly her name to Nicki Minaj, is she going to sell? And we do know what's going to happen to the song it's not going to do anything like you know the payola um you know he's it's not gonna do that so obviously they might decide to go back and poke Nicki Minaj again once they realize that independently without attaching a name to the queen she cannot sell okay um speaking about new music you guys it does seem like isis decided to um you know drop a song as well you know the give me a light song that she teased and at this point i'm just like what is going to become of hip-hop what is really going to become of hip hop? Because at this point, <laughs> what did I just listen to? And I thought Give Me a Light was going to elevate the song. And I thought that the sample was going to be something better. And I thought it was going to help this girl. But like, I just listened to that stuff and I'm just like, oh my God. Here we go again with a better, um, you know, budget for video. But. <laughs> with a crappy song oh my god let me know in the comment section you guys if you have listened to that girl's song or if you have bumped into a snippet of that song i'm just so disappointed but then with her not so much because i mean i've always said on this channel that um you know she really can not rap okay lyrically she's not there if we're gonna be honest anyway the next thing that we are going to be talking about you guys we're also going to be talking about um you know Nicki minaj and um Nicki minaj is out there in uh bongo 2's hometown making them sing along to bigfoot yes you heard me right you guys there's a video that is actually circulating on the internet and it is from bongo bongo 2's hometown in houston and uh it seems like the crowd crowd was out there chanting bigfoot and you people like to say oh they like bongo 2 oh they would never go against it oh she should try playing bigfoot in in you know in texas and see people will not res respond to that and what tell me why i'm just seeing this video people singing okay along to bigfoot like that 
And that's why I say that, you know, the previous song of hers, this entire Bo Boa song of hers does not make any sense because she can't be talking about Nicki Minaj saying that her time is over when she's over there having people in your hometown sing along to a district about you. Like you can't be talking about Nicki Minaj and saying that her time is over because if really she did put out that deadline for Nicki Minaj, now I'm getting concerned. Now I'm getting concerned because now I'm thinking uh, when these girls actually do get, um, you know, this entire package, does this entire record label package of going against Nicki Minaj come with a close, uh, with a delusional close? Like you have to be delusional. <laughs> Is that a thing? Because we all see these girls who get, um, you know, packages that include going against Nicki Minaj being delusional. Does it come in the contract? Is there a close that says you have to be delusional? Because, because I could never call somebody who's in my hometown making people chant to a district about me. I could never call them um, you know, t and tell them that you know, their time is up. It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, the next thing that we are going to be talking about, we are going to talk about um, you know, Charlemagne the God while he is being called out for being two-faced and self-contradictory because he sat on there and said that while the industry has been trying to do away with Drake for a long time, because while they feel like he has been winning for a long time and he's too powerful and things like that, he really did say things that were making sense, okay? And things that make sense, you guys, uh, because really the, you can't call that a coincidence that a, a lot of people are just coming out at the same time, um, you know, going against this man. However, this obviously opened up a conversation on why he is so vocal and so objective when talking about this entire Drake situation and admitting that people can come together to try to end you but it was a different story when it was Nicki Minaj because that man and his co-hosts were the top people who were out there saying that Nicki Minaj was delusional for thinking that a group of people could want to end one person they literally called a delusional for that they were like ain't nobody trying to end you oh your time is just up ain't nobody you're being delusional there is no age train they it's not possible for people to want you. the same men this very same man sat down there with those other men that um you know he hosts with and literally said Nicki Minaj is delusional for thinking that people um a collective would want you out of their way. He said that. But in 2024, there he sits with this bold ass. Okay, talking about oh my goodness, uh, you know, Drake is going through an age train, they are trying to do away with him and things like that. And I'm like, this man, the karma that will come his way. The karma that imagine people doing dirty to you behind closed doors, and when you try to speak up about it, they gaslight you into saying you're delusional, you're crazy. Imagine the evilness that you have to have in your heart. Imagine, oh, because deep down, that's the thing, you guys. This is what I do not get. Because when they sit together, they they know, all of them know, and this one knows, do you, do you get what I'm saying? Envy knows, and, um, you know, Shalami knows that, well, what we're saying, uh, this is not true. And then they sit across each other and proceed to call a woman who's going through it with the industry delusional. When both of you actually know that, you, like, how does that work? Are you not ashamed, like, lying, you know, in each other's faces like this? Is that not a, is that not shame for you guys? Because I, I really try to imagine what will be going through their minds when they do clownery like that. Like, oh, we're going to dislike this person. So let's sit together and start spewing lies and start calling her delusional and crazy. And let's start calling her like she's on a Coca-Cola rant. Let's do that. I'm just, what kind of people are you? Because, I mean, lying is shameful. So imagine being a collective of people who are lying. Oh my goodness. Let me know you guys in the comment section, obviously, what you think about that. And uh, the last thing that we are going to be talking about, we're going to be talking about Haley and Justice. Justin, uh, congratulations to the two of them because they just announced that they are pregnant. Congratulations. Congratulations to them. And it does seem like that picture that Justin put out there and he was crying and people were trolling with it and doing all sorts of things. It was about uh, the time that he found out that Haley was now pregnant. And this is such a blessing. So congratulations, obviously, to the two of them. Thank you very much, you guys, for watching. And thank you very much for making it this 
far if you haven't already what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and do turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified each and every time that i post i post each and every single day and i keep you updated on what's happening in the celebrity world on instagram on twitter and about all things trending now until my next one see you